Hey guys, it's me, Julia, and I wanted to share something with you. It's right behind me. You can see what that is. That's right, I wanted to share with you how to make your own green screen. So if you haven't made your own green screen yet, um, that's what that guy is right behind me. The first thing I did is I went to Joanne Fabrics and I went to the, um, I guess it was to the to the large format fabric section and I purchased a very large piece it was about three yard piece of um, felt and so it was a large three yard piece of felt so it's 72 inches tall but it's nine feet across and my room is about 10 feet so that's about how much I needed uh, to go all the way across the room so that was the first thing was a large piece of felt the second thing I purchased was from um, uh, Walmart and that was actually a clothing rod and it's something that you can get that's portable it breaks down it's just um, there's like a closet section in Walmart and I think that costs about $19 you can take it apart put it back together again when you need it like if you're having a party and you need extra hanging space but that's what I have there and then this is the little secret weapon this also came from um, from Joanne Fabrics so the fabric itself was about $5.99 a yard and it was on sale so I got a really good deal on it. I think it was like 25% off or something. The clothing rod I had but you can get one new from Walmart for about $20. And then these little guys are sold at Joanne Fabrics in the curtain section. There was like a pack of 20 and it was $12.99. I downloaded a coupon. But these little guys I actually... Um, put those onto the rod itself. You can kind of see in the background above my head, like right there, whoop, right above my head. You can see I just popped that little edge off and then I um, fed the, the rings on, just like a shower curtain, but it's not really that. And then I held the fabric really taut. Um, I used my husband's brute strength to do that too. He pulled the fabric really tight. And then the secret trick to this is that when you have that last I'm gonna, I really want to show you. I'm going to bring you right over here to the, to the area um, so that you can see how it looks. But right there you can see that there's a, um, a rubber band wrapped around the end of this so that the rubber band is wrapped around the rod and then the pole end there is, is holding it. And that's to keep the fabric really, really taut so that it doesn't um, show a lot of wrinkles. Now, I bought the piece of fabric kind of big. Um, so that it would allow me to cover up things like I had a table and things like that. So I'm going to kind of show you down here. It puddles at the floor. I hope you can see that it puddles at the floor. It's kind of hard to see actually because it's a green screen. You can maybe see that. Hope that didn't make anybody motion sick there. Hi. Hi, Nita. Hi, Dave. Um, but I really wanted to show you how to make your own green screen because if you're going to use Zoom, um, you can actually put a background, but you really want to have um, a, a solid back so that it'll work really well for you. Um, I had also at the same time purchased a portable green screen off of eBay and I think it was $38.99. So it was a really, really good deal. Um, and make sure I'm looking at the right place. You're looking at my camera. It was $38.99. It came a couple of days after I went to Joanne Fabrics and bought the little pieces and parts to do this. So it's still a great deal. I didn't send it back. I didn't resell it. I kept it because it'll be perfect when I go on location so that I have a portable pop-up green screen. Um, but I don't think that the fabric was as thick. It was fleece, but it was kind of thick. So I'd be concerned that light would come through the back so it wouldn't work quite as well. So that's my tip for today for um, doing videos and things like that and being ready on the on the fly. I don't even close that up. I just keep it behind me and then I uh, turn it sideways in my office when I'm going off camera. Um, if you have any questions about how I did it or where I bought things, just let me know. Uh, the fabric again was just felt. I bought it from Joanne Fabrics. I bought solid Kelly Green. And um, the rod, again, was from Walmart. It was one that had a center section and then two arm extender poles that came out from the side. Um, and then the little clips that I showed you look like curtain rings. Hi, Daryl. Look like little curtain rings with clips hanging off of the bottom of them. Um, those were in a pack in the curtain section at Joanne Fabrics. Thanks so much, you guys. I enjoy uh, doing videos with you all. Hi, Daryl. I enjoy doing videos with you all. And I enjoy sharing tips and ideas. I have some other cool stuff that 
I'm going to be sharing with you all really soon. I got some great questions this week, so people were asking me some cool stuff. Thanks so much. Have a great day.